Hello friends, today I want to show you how to service your small tiger generator at better pass my neighbor. First of all, how will you know if your gen is due for servicing? 1. The engine will be sounding low and weak. 2. It will no longer be able to power your home appliances because the engine is now weak. And 3. It will not throttle well, like this. Keep in mind that the reason why we service this engine is due to a blockage or clogging in the channel in which the hot gas passes through. So if the channel should get blocked, the engine will not work well. The engine will not be weak. So now I want to carry out main servicing. So come with me and let me show you how to service your small tiger generator. So first you Remove the coil frame or frame coil, then you lose that this black rubber. Please do it to arrange all the things that you are losing out of the generator. Don't scatter them, keep them in one place. Next, you lose out the exhaust. We have three bolts holding the exhaust, one by the side, then two at the bottom. We have the two bolts under. So next, you will remove the plug. Next, you lose out these four bolts in order to bring out the top cylinder and the engine block. So this is the top cylinder head. If in case your own is very hard to pull out, then you use a two screwdriver to pull it out, something like this. You first of all hit it, then use two screwdriver to pull it out, something like this. Then it will come out. So here we have the piston head and the gasket. in mind that you can roll this piston by drawing the engine from the starter so the PC will not be going up and down so you cannot remove the engine block so remember I talked about channel where the hot gas will pass through this is one of the holes you can see that it is not blocked so we have to remove this uh, carbon deposit here so that the hot gas can come out easily. So you have to scrape it out.
you make sure you remove all the carbon deposits inside not just only this hole also these three holes so you cannot see that uh, the hole is not free it's no longer block it's not true and the rest holes also make sure that none of the holes are blocked So later we now use for it to wash it next is the rinse here we have the two rings that gives the engine compression please they are very fragile so you handle with care when removing them be careful when removing them so these two lines that you see here these two gutters, we call them the piston groove. This is where we place the rings. So now, after breaking out the rings, you scrape the carbon deposit out of the rings. So that when facing it back, it will be easy for the rings to be properly installed. So this two groove you can use something like this to clean inside because if this if inside is dirty to place the rings back will be difficult so you use something like this sublet to scrape inside the groove so that the rings will be easy to install Make sure that all the black deposit inside you clean them up remove them So with this now you have not cleaned the piston groove next you use some paper to scrape the body and wash it with foil here we have some paper Then use foil to wash it. You can also wash the body.
So with this now, you can put the rings back to the groove. Make sure handle with K because without these rings, the engine will not have compression and will not start. The gap here should be at this key or this pin that you see here. Something like this. And they should be very free to move like this. If they are not free to move like this, that means that the, the groove is not clean enough. You still have to scrape it. So they must be free like this. And if it is not free, it should not be easy to put it back while fixing the block. It should not be easy. So it must be free. So now we now wash the engine block. Please remember this is fuel and not water. You can use any other high solvent to wash it. Then if the inside is black, you can use the sandpaper also to scrape it a little bit. Then you wash it. Make sure that all the holes are true and free from blockage or clogging. So after washing it, you now fix it back. Just like what I said before, if the groove is clean and the rings can move very, very easily, then to be easy to fix the block back. You now press it with your hand, then you put the block back. Yeah, then you can add a little oil to this uh, place so that the rings, the piston, will move freely. So you can add a little oil. Then you scrape out this uh, carbon deposit. After cleaning it, then you fit it back. Then you put your boots to tight it.
make sure that the four bolts are tight but remember do not use excessive force when tightening them if you know if any one of them is not tight it can lead to a leakage in the compression so next now we clean the plug and put it back so that we start it if you want to know more about cleaning plug you can watch my video how to clean plug put back the quite frame now at this point you can start the engine if you have to see if you like to start before facing back the exhaust so let me now start it that is how the engine to sound without exhaust so now let's put back the exhaust Make sure that the exhaust is free from blockage. How will you know? You blow air inside the exhaust through this hole, then you put your hand here. If you feel the air, that means that the exhaust is not blocked. But if you do not feel it, that means that the exhaust is blocked. Then you need to open it and service it and remove all the carbon deposits from inside. But for now, the exhaust is not blocked, so I'm going to fix it. If you like to see how to service your exhaust, watch my video how to service exhaust of small tiger generator. So with this now, you have service.